Hi, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. I got this revelation and then it's exciting. So I want to share it and I pray that I would share it like I got it. Now, there are these names we call God. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi. What do you think of these names? I got to realize and study that these names were not directly given to God, but they were given to altars built for God because of what God has done in that season. So there was significance in building of altars in the old testament to signify remembrance of who god is and god's faithfulness abraham built an altar moses built an altar there are so many examples in the old testament of people building altars as a place of worship elevated place to worship god and as a means of remembrance of god's faithfulness we in this generation can become so ungrateful because of our forgetfulness because we can get to a place that we forget how faithful god is why do we forget how faithful he is we are not building altars what does this mean this is why i tag this video journal your god experiences we have not journaled our god experiences to remind ourselves of the faithfulness of god when abraham built an altar and called it jehovah jireh it's because of god's provision to him which he believed god in faith and he built an altar and that stood as a thing of remembrance that every time they are in lack or every time something shows up that seems impossible they can remember that god will see to it so in today's world are you in your life because this is something that i want to really start doing document your god experiences write it down journal it the faithfulness of god each day the moment that god has showed up for you don't just leave it to the mercy of your mind and remembrance because it is so easy to forget how faithful god is when things happen to you i see that in the book of esther in that kingdom they had to join out good things that happened such that when the king is feeling uncomfortable they will bring the book of remembrance and read those things that was a means of journaling and that was what the children of israel did with every breakthrough that they got they built an altar they set up stones and named it and because of that it served as a means of remembrance of god's faithfulness to them are you doing so for your life this is the reason for making today's video when you call God Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner, what happened in that place? In Exodus chapter 17 verse 15, it says, Moses built an altar there and named it Yahweh Nisi, which means the Lord is my banner. We get to know the story that the Israelites fought the Amalekites and God gave them victory. When God gave them victory, Moses built an altar and named it Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is our banner because God showed up for them. Until this day, we can remember and know that God can fight for us. God is there to protect us. God is there for us. The Lord is our banner. The Lord is our victory. It is something that you need to learn for your life from these examples that even that word Jehovah Nisi was not given to God as a direct name. It was a name given to an altar that Moses built to god and this is not to hype god but this is to remind them for their faith journey for their good so when we document and journal our god experiences it is not to hype ourselves but it is for our remembrance in the difficult days in the day of trouble in the day that we seem to forget how faithful god is that god is a faithful god that he has showed up before that he will show up again now the children of israel whenever they get into battle they can remember that god has showed up before jehovah nisi so they can go and fight knowing that god has their back same thing that happened in judges in the old people thought that when you see god face to face that you will die and then god appeared to gideon and gideon was afraid the scripture says here in judges 6 23 to 24 it is all right the lord replied do not be afraid you will not die and gideon built an altar to the lord there and named it yahweh shalom which means the lord is peace the altar remains in opera in the land of the clan of abiezer to this day the lord is peace so this was the first representation of us getting this name it was gideon having an experience with god a god experience that he thought that god would strike him death because he has seen the angel of the lord and god said no don't worry peace be unto you and because of god's proclamation of peace he said 
Now I have experienced God. God is peace. Yahweh Shalom. God is peace. The Lord is peace. So I want you, I don't know if this is inspiring you already, to document, journal your God experiences. When you experience your breakthrough, when you have an encounter with God, when you stumble on a revelation, because I call it stumble on, but definitely God revealed himself to you. When you stumble on a revelation of God on a particular area, journal it down for yourself because you need to know that it is for your own good. It is for your faith journey. It is for your remembrance because we are quick to forget. Now I will go straight to Abraham in Genesis 22 verse 14. God asked Abraham to go sacrifice Isaac. God did not mean that Abraham literally would kill Isaac because God had a plan. Abraham actually went because he trusted God. And when Isaac asked the father, Dad, I've seen the firewood. I've seen everything, but where is the lamb? Abraham said, God will see to it. God will provide. And when he went up to that mountain, definitely God showed up. When God showed up for Abraham and he took the ram and sacrificed, Abraham named the place Yahweh Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Abraham named the place Yahweh Jireh. Now, this is what got to me. If we are in a generation that we don't know how to journal our God experiences, what are we leaving for others so that it can help their faith work? Abraham journaled this. Now we can have these names to proclaim to God. Yahweh Jireh. We can have these beautiful names of God. It was through people's personal encounter and experience with God. If you are having an encounter and experience with God, do not just let it sleep. Do not just keep it to the mercy of your remembrance. That's why scripture says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalm 103. It starts mentioning his benefits. Who healed thy diseases? Who forgive it? Like all these things are document all the benefits of God because it is easy to forget. So that when you come to call God names, faithful God, it is not to hype God, it is to remind you. When we come to a place of praising God, it is not to hype God, it is to remind ourselves, this God is faithful. This God will provide. He is a provider. This God is a protector, is our banner. This God is peace. He will give us peace. He will not take us out because of our failings because of how dirty we feel. So it is very important that we get to this place and this revelation. So I had this in mind and I said, I would ask you, whenever you come to watch this video, maybe five years from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, whenever you see this video, if you have not yet started journaling your God experiences, start now. That is you building an altar to the Lord for his faithfulness and for your faith. Because you're building this altar to thank God through your journal this is how God has come through for me this year. And I had this conversation with someone and I said, it's very easy for us to forget how faithful God is. Right now, as I'm recording this video, this is September. From January till now, God has been so faithful to me. But it's very easy for me to wake up and feel like God is not faithful and feel ungrateful because I'm like, I've not seen what God has done. Why? I've not drawn out his goodness in my life by time. As it has happened, I can become so ungrateful because of my forgetfulness. Because in hindsight, if I look back and think on his faithfulness, I will realize that God has been so faithful to me. And this is why I'm making today's video that you would sit down on yourself, start journaling. God did this to me on 28th day of March, 2020. On this particular date, God did that for me. On this particular date, when I came back from work, this happened and God came through. Even, even if you come back from work, the fact that you went out and you come back, I think that was the essence of diary to John out. You went out today and then everything went well. God showed up. You were safe coming back home. That is something to John out. And if you have specific things, revelations or testimonies of God's faithfulness, it is important to journal them for your own faith. Because when you remember the goodness of God, it will strike you to a place of gratitude and knowing that God is faithful. God has not left you a bit. The heartbreak that came to destroy you, God had already prepared you for it. The trouble that came to destroy you, God had already prepared you for it. Thank God for the peace 
in times of chaos. Thank God for the peace when your mind will be wilding. Thank God for maturity and for growth in the seasons of your life. Thank God for the age that you are in now. Journal it down. At 30, at 40, at 50, journal your life down and the faithfulness of God. When you look back, that could be a book to give out to someone and say, this is how faithful God has been to me. I felt here and God showed up here. I hope that this video is valuable to you. And I believe strongly that if you start building an altar unto God, it is going to help your walk with him. It is going to help you a long way in your faith journey. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Drop your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are yet to. See you in the next video.